Okay, here's a very quick video on how to graph your data for your potato lab. I made up some data here, and instead of having sugar, I have salt concentration, but we still have on the x-axis, the independent variable, what you control, the concentrations of the salt, and what change in mass was. And you can see here that some of them gained mass, some of them lost mass. And since this is the independent variable, um, you, that the column on the left ends up on the x-axis when you graph it. So I highlight both columns. I go to the top and do insert graph. And of course I want a line graph. I want just a single graph. And here I get to uh, change some of the customize or combine the ranges. So I click this last one. Now I get what I want, which is just the straight line drop that we have here. Now of course there's other things that have to be done. So when I go to customize, I need to put something in for the, the different axes. So on the horizontal axis, I can type in something. It should show up there. On the left vertical, I can type something. Blah, blah, blah. It shows up there. And I can insert it. Now, of course, this isn't done because there's things missing. Now, the cool thing that I realize is that if you just type in nonsense like that, all I have to do is click on that, and I can then re-edit that. So, of course, on the y-axis, this would be percent change mass. If I can type that, OK. Apparently not. And I'll just hit OK. And it's there. And down here, all I, can, all I have to do is double click on it, and a, a window opens up there. And I can type in salt concentration. And that would be, or salt, but salt concentration. And this would be molarity. And then the last thing I could do if I wanted to, which you should do, is change the chart tile. Chart tile is not a good good point to do that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So it's pretty easy. You can do it very quickly.